All right, so you got a nice tricky geometry problem here about similarity. It kind of forces you to create the equations to solve it um, based on what you know about similar triangles. So we, they tell us that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, and that's a lot of information, right? Right there, because they're telling us, oops, they're telling us that these two triangles are similar, which means all the corresponding angles are equal, and they're even telling us A and D which appear first in both triangles, in the lettering, are corresponding, they're equal. B and E, oops, B and E are also equal. So, you know, whatever whatever letters they give you in whatever order, that means they're equal, right? B and E are equal, corresponding. And again, in similar triangles, corresponding angles are equal. C and F are also equal. So as we move forward, we want to definitely keep that in mind. It's going to be crucial for us. So they tell us that the measurement of angle A, and I'll write it right on the diagram. And I do that actually, when they list it out for me, I write it in the diagram. So here's 50 degrees, right? That's the measurement of angle A. The measurement of angle D, the corresponding angle over here, is 2x plus 5y. Just labeling it as we go. F over here is what? They tell us it's 5x plus y, and B, over here is 102 minus x. So, so now we have a lot to start with, right? We want to use relationships that were given here to make some progress. So I noticed that they're giving us uh, the, the one pair of corresponding angles are going to be crucial, right? They must be. That's really helpful. We have a number here for angle A. It has to equal 2x plus 5y. But with x and y, with two variables and one equation, we can't solve it. We need at least another another relationship. So here, the, the measurement of angle F, what is it equal to? Well, they don't tell us. But what do we know? We know that a triangle is 180 degrees, right? That's going to be crucial. And we also know that the measurement of angle F is equal to the measurement of, of angle C, right? This measurement for that angle right here. Now, they don't give us that, that, that measurement for angle C. But again, we know it equals 180 minus the other angles minus 50, and minus 102, minus x. But we can simplify that. Let's do that over here. The measurement of angle C equals 180 minus 50 minus 102 minus x. So now we just uh, subtract 102 and subtract negative x. So subtracting 102, that's negative 102. Subtracting negative x, that's plus x. 180 minus 50 is 130, and this is equal to the measure of angle C. 130 minus 102, it's 28 degrees, or 28, excuse me, plus x. That's the measure of angle C. All right, uh, the measure of angle C is, is 28 plus, plus x. So we can use this now to solve the, the system. We have everything we need, because the measure of angle F equals, right, the measurement of angle C. These two things are equal. So I could just say that f equals 28 plus x. But they tell us that f equals 5x plus y. That's angle f. And that has to equal angle c, which is 28 plus x. And here, I'm going to get both variables to the left side by subtracting x. And we have 4x plus y equals 28. So now we have a nice system of equations. Up here we have 2x plus 5y equals 50. And here we have 4x plus y equals 28. So we want to cancel out here. So I can't just add or subtract these two equations to cancel out. I need to change something. I'm going to multiply the top one by negative 2. Because what I want to do is get rid of this x. If negative 2 times negative 2x is performed, that becomes what? Well, up here, that becomes negative 4x, and then distribute, you want to keep everything balanced. Negative 2 times 5y is negative 10y, and negative 2 times 50 is negative 100. So I re we're at the bottom equation, 4x plus y equals 28, and now it gets fun because I can add these two equations, right? So here, negative 4x plus 4x is 0, it's gone. We've canceled out one of the variables, negative 10y and y, that's negative 9y, with one variable gone. We can solve it. 
negative 100 plus 28, well, what's that? Well, I just think of 28 minus, uh, 100 minus 28, right? That would be 72, so it's negative 72. So divide both sides by negative 9, and y equals positive 8, right? And we can plug that back in to find the value of x, right? We know from, if we use any equation here, I'll use, I'll use this one right here, 50 equals 2 times x plus 5 times 8. 5 times 8 is 40. 2x plus 40 equals 50. Subtract 40 from both sides. Scroll down here. And 2x equals 10. Divide both sides by 2. And x equals 5. Oops. So we, sorry, that we have x and we have y. x is 5 and y is, is 8. But they want us to find the measure of angle F. So we go back. For F, F is 5x plus y. 5x plus y. So 5x plus y is just 25 plus 8. Right? We plug in those values for x. 25 plus 8 is 33 degrees, and that's our measure for angle F. But there are other ways to solve this as well. So another way of going about this is to look just within this this triangle here for a moment and realize that triangle this triangle has angle F and angle F is 180 minus angles D and E, right? So the measure of angle D we're given. So it's minus 2x plus 5y and then minus angle E. E and B are equal. So it's minus 102 minus x. In other words, minus this value over here, which must also be 102 minus x. Um, and that's the measurement of angle F. But we know the measurement of angle F also equals 5x plus y. So I'm going to put that in for the angle. Here we get 180 minus 2x minus plus 5y. So it's minus 5y minus 102 and minus a minus x is plus x. So here we just simplify a little bit. 180 minus 102, that's 78 degrees, or 78, right? Negative 2x and x is minus x minus 5y. Now here this equals to 5x plus y, but we want to get all the variables on one side. That'll help us if we're using elimination. So I'm going to add x and add 5y over here. What do we get? Well, these two cancel out, and we get 6x plus 6y equals 78. So we can actually combine this with our other system, that our other original equation, and we can still get the same answer. So here, 6x plus 6y equals 78. That's this equation right here. And the other key equation uh, that I had was that from the start, 2x plus 5y equals 50. So all you have to do here is, again, cancel out. We we'll multiply this top one by negative 3. What's going to happen if I do that? Well, negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x. Negative 3 times 5y is minus 15y. And negative 3 times 50 is negative um, 150. And this is helpful now because when I add to my second equation right here, this one, right, plus, so I'm going to add these two. The second equation is 6x plus 6y plus 78. And what this will do is cancel out opposite. So I, I multiplied this here by negative 3 because I knew negative 3 times 2 would give me a number that I could add to 6x down here and cancel out. Now I can actually solve for a variable. Right? We've gotten rid of one of them. Negative 15y plus 6y, what's that? What's negative 9y? And negative 150 over 78, right? What's that? Well, it's 72. Right, negative 72. And we're right back to the same problem before. So, so regardless of how we go about doing this, we should get the same answers and the, and the same values um, for our angles here. All right, thanks. I hope this helped.